she go, what was that for? That's for all the shit you ain't tell me about this year. <laughs> Remember you was flirting with the little nigga in the mall? Cool. Yeah, you ain't get the number, but yeah, you you remember you look back when he said something to you. That's for that. <laughs> sometimes you just got. Sometimes you, <laughs> don't, don't 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 slap him though. Just just tap him on the cheek while he talking. Yeah, babe. So where you wanna go, babe? What you do that for? That's for all the shit you ain't tell me about this year. What shit? Look, remember at the gas station when the nigga pulled up in the truck? He was trying to talk. He was like, no, I, I got somebody. But you were smiling too goddamn hard. Yeah, that's for that. Don't be playing with me. <laughs> oh, you niggas been in a relationship for 10 years. Ain't never checked your woman. She do all the checking and correcting. We going to my mom. I was, the, I was supposed to shut up. We going to my mama. All right. Let me tell you something. If if you ever, if you're in a relationship and you ever tap out and you right, you a coochie butt. All right. Just know that if you ever in an argument with your woman and you tap out and you right, you're a coochie butt. I will never tap out if I'm right. I turn the living room table over, the <laughs> dining room table. I throw some lamps on the floor. I do all that before I before I see before I tap out. You dudes be dead right, and you want y'all be on the phone. B, can I see some? B, can I, B, let me talk. B, can I see some? B, B, can I see some? B, you ain't gonna let me. B, can I talk? B, hold up. B, let me say some. B, yeah, you're a coochie butt. Just know that I'm talking to you. You're a coochie butt. And guess who knew you a coochie butt? Your woman. She tell all her girlfriends you a coochie butt. She like, girl, I just wish he had checked me sometimes. He's such a, he's a bitch. He's such a pussy. I wish he had just checked me sometimes. You scared to check her. Check her and correct her. She just do whatever, say whatever. You just go for it. I love you. You're my special one. I'm a coochie butt. I give y'all real game. It's all about if you're going to take this game and digest it. Digest it and add it to your system, man. A lot of y'all need to go home right now and check your woman for no reason. <laughs> See, that's the problem. That's why That's why you can't keep no woman, because you don't check them. You don't check them. You know what I mean? I was just trying to listen to New York LA. Now we got some cool song over there. Oh, well, you were here singing like Whitney Houston. I had to turn that joint off, man. Two niggas in the front seat, man. Yeah, see. In about 10 miles, take exit 15 W18 West right. on the right onto New Jersey Turnpike North toward right. George Washington Bridge. I ain't with all that, man. You all in the front seat. And I, I lip shaking, will always. <laughs> niggas, two niggas in the front seat, man. What you doing, man? You ain't here with your woman. I'm enjoying my car ride. Yeah, that's why I turned it right off. I showed you, I showed them you on live here acting all crazy. A little spicy burrito in the front seat. I had to, you know, let me click that joint off. He going too crazy. He was going too crazy, wasn't he, Sean? He was, he was at the bottom lip shaking. He doing riffs and shit. He had riffs on to the song that wasn't there. Ooh, no, that wasn't in the song, bro. Oh yeah, all right. Yeah, you 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 getting a little too little too happy in this front seat, player. Mm. Yo, Sean even said, "Yeah, he, Sean was back there looking at you like some shit." Some drink. Hmm. Some song. I understand. He was on some motherfucking Taco Tuesday shit, man. <laughs> Three spicy burritos and a motherfucking coke, man. How I feel about your boy, how you feel, how y'all feel about your boy Meek Gill. What you mean how you feel about Meek? What you talking about? Y'all sad, man. That's the problem with y'all. Y'all be the same ones at the concerts falling out. Hold on, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished. This is just so crazy that they could put a room out there about anybody and it's real. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you just put a room out there about anybody and it's real. But it's good because you get to see all the haters come out. <laughs> you get to see all the niggas that hate us just come up, just come out. Mm -hmm. 
No, they don't be undercover. They, they real That's live right. haters. They right here in your face with it. Because you got to understand, right? One thing that you can guarantee about a hater is they not happy with their life. 11 times out of 10, life got them in a Russian butt naked headlock. Do you hear me? They got them in a Victor Kushka's Kosh headlock. <laughs> because when you when you get in life, when you wake up and you you you, you live in life and your life is happy, you ain't never worried about what nobody else is doing, man. I ain't never concerned with about what nobody else is doing. I got too much things to do in the morning, man. You feel what I'm saying? How am I worrying about a nigga when my hydration drink is the official partner with never mind? I, I can't I, next week I announce it. Oh. What we talking about, man? Y'all dudes in the store buying, 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 uh, you dudes in the store, man. Uh, buying drinks and my drink is in the store. Think about that. How I'm arguing with you, man. You went to the store and picked the Pepsi up and my, my, my energy drink was in there, man. I'm arguing with you, man. Uh, I, I'm arguing with niggas that smoke bad weed, man. There's certain people you can't argue with. Your weed. I can't argue with you, man. You smoke bad weed. Your lungs done, man. Your kidney's about to fail, man. You smoke bad weed, man. I'm arguing with you. Your woman ugly? I'm arguing with you, man. Your woman ugly, man. A woman is the easiest thing to get on planet Earth, and your woman is ugly? Oh, come on, man. I had a homie. He was the ugliest nigga on planet Earth. His women was bad. No, you know, you know you, your women ain't bad. You, you get women, but they ain't bad. They be a little husky, heavy in the shoulder area. You know what I mean? Uh, no, she, she might wear 13 and a half men's. You never know with you. You know what I mean? I don't care what she was, she had a size 13 on. I checked her Adam's apple fast as she would. Hold your neck up for me. What are you doing? I'm looking for some lumps, baby. I'm looking for pumps and lump. You hear me? I'm trying to see if you swallowed the uh, now later. You hear me? She was definitely a woman, though. I had to check, nigga. There ain't no women running around here with no 15 size 15s, man. She wasn't even in the WNBA. She wasn't even that tall. She was like 5'9", size 13 men's, man. She walked in. Her drinks floated in like the Titanic. She was thick as a snicker. She was thick as a snicker. Her feet was, her feet was big as a Honda. She was thick as a snicker. Her feet was big as a Honda. She walked in with two Honda Accords on her feet. <laughs> in two miles, take exit 15 W18 West on the right onto New Jersey Turnpike North toward George Washington Bridge. She walked in with two Honda Accords on them joints. You hear me? I'm talking about 2014 Hondas too. They weren't no brand new joints. I couldn't believe it. He know it. That's why he back there laughing like that. He know what I'm talking about. She on here laughing because she like, my feet is big. Like, I ain't going to lie. Them puppies longer than Broad Street. <laughs> she could stop a dice game from two blocks away. Give me those. <laughs> you hear me? She could stop a goddamn dice game from a block away. Uh-uh, give me those. 
He know it. That's why he laughing like that. <laughs> Rusty don't give a fuck though. You hear me? I could imagine them big joints in the air, man. <laughs> Nigga got he holding the Kimbe Mutombo feet. Use the right two lanes to take exit 15 W18 West on the right onto New Jersey Turnpike North toward George Washington Bridge. Man, you got on the back, you holding the legs back with the Mutombo feet there. Lord have mercy. <laughs> She got the do 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 no money for the don't breathe that to the Lord. Where we getting off at? Keep right. Keep right where? In three miles, take exit 15 west to merge onto I-280 toward Newark. Damn, bro. I'm saying they ashy though, because I'm mad they some big ashy joints. She got a lotion. Them, she just got to soak them joints in calamine lotion. Like, not even like no regular lotion. She got to soak them joints in calamine lotion. She's, she's tough. Huh? She's a baddie. She a baddie. <laughs> I think even if her face was a 10, her feet take her to a 7 and a half, man. Cause it's like you cannot have pretty feet when we're thirteen. Don't Niggas don't look at the feet. That's how you see. That's how you know. That's the. That was the first thing I looked at on two. What you talking about? I can't. What? How you? How you gonna look out? How you gonna? You gonna? You gonna? You gonna sleep with a woman and then look down at the end of the bed, her feet hanging out the covers like this? In two miles, take exit fifteen west to merge onto I two eighty toward Newark. No. Her feet. Her feet look like she ride four wheelers with O'Melly in them. Like she popped the clutch with a with her pinky toe and all that all scraped up and no. So first of all, a woman with some bad looking feet, man, that just say a lot for who you is, man. Like you got some bad looking feet. Tell me you grew up in Africa or something, man. You ain't had no shoes or something. Then alright, okay, baby. You grew up fucked up, you ain't had no shoes. I understand. You could walk on glass and not feel it. You know what I mean?